Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Sonaldo to review today. So we have his loan card, which is good. Uh, I chose Rashford on my main account, but I've only played three games on my main account because I've been busy with some real life stuff. So trying to get those player reviews out to you guys while hopefully being able to stream in the future so I can get some tactics and stuff going for you guys. Uh, but with Sonaldo, we're taking a look at a card who is six foot tall, high, high work rates, right footed, four star skills with a five star weak foot. Um, I heard that this card is really, really good. Like uh, my boy Adam was trying him out in a draft one time and he was scoring worldies with him. I, I had other people that were using him and they just really liked using him. And I feel like a big reason for this is because that five star weak foot in this game nowadays is not a bad thing to work with. And uh, high, high work rates is not a big nuisance as a work rate in the striker position nowadays if you actually want to use that. With him basically being a left mid, you know, you can use him in the left mid area, right mid area with the five star weak foot and hopefully decent stamina, 88 stamina. So, you know, it's a card that you can use in any of the attacking positions. But we ha what we have to see is what his attacking AI is like, right? So hopefully it's pretty decent in game. Uh, we are going to be giving him the Hunter chemistry style. Why? Because dribbling mechanics works a certain way this year where I don't necessarily feel a huge need to give him a dribbling boost. But would it make sense for Sun's car to give him an engine it definitely would why because if you take a look at his shooting stats for base card stats it is already set up really nicely right so with Sun on an engine chemistry style you would get 88 balance 97 for dribbling 91 for agility the pace would be boosted by a lot base card stats for shooting is good for the meta of the game nowadays with really good passing stats right people are deciding between either the engine or the hunter I don't think any choice would be the wrong choice because like I said um, the way that these cards move nowadays uh, with the dribbling stats it's still pretty solid uh, with base card stats especially like this with Sun right so hopefully it's pretty solid because he does have a unique body type that we have to work with base card stats for shooting set up really nicely for the card uh, passing also very good so if you use them in any of the attacking positions definitely very solid there especially on an engine chemistry style uh, dribbling Again, we will be experimenting with the Hunter, but I will let you guys know by the end of it if I would give him an engine chemistry style as well. Uh, and then last but not least, again, 88 stamina with the high, high work rates should be very, very cool to work with. So with Hyungmin Sun, guys, we will be using him in the striker position next to Romelu Lukaku. Uh, with Sun, because he just seems like a player that's a, a very good all-round player, we're actually going to keep him on the balance instruction with just stay forward right so just stay forward on the card see how he moves across the pitch and basically just take it from there because Lukaku is going to be on the get and behind instruction so um considering the fact that he is a physical oriented striker so um yeah we'll see how Sun plays in game hopefully he is a beast well, thanks Derek the best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff earn the right to play if you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the... First off, Sun's dribbling, game. super I nice in that area. That was sick. Son. Can he put them in front? Oh, Sonaldo already doing work, eh? That was a crazy shot cancel with him. Because then I get it on his five-star weak foot and he just bangs it into the back of the net. Guys, we playing uh we playing uh, FIFA 21 with the directional? It's you know what it is with the directional nowadays is that like they nerfed it to a point where it's like if you use it, you just use it for like this little bit of extra acceleration, but it's not like an overpowered acceleration, you know? Yeah, those are the finesse shot angles you want to work for. Oh no! I shouldn't have done that, man. I could I probably should have just shot shot that to be honest. Can he take advantage? It's up and up for him. That whole little movement right there was dope to work with, man. I'm really liking his sun card so far. Hen? Oh, I was about to say. I'm like, yo, I think I kind of timed that well right there. All right, son, what penalties do you have? 83, eh? To the bottom right with this one? Okay, we'll take that. Okay. 
chance to whip it in. And it might be. The net is steering him in the face. Yeah, I want to try a near post one there. See what would happen. He gave me that ball right there, I guess because he's trying to do the objective, but I just wanted to try the finesse shot there with Hyungman Sun. A oh. little bit too emphasized there in the dribble, which is not his fault. It's just kind of like the dribbling, dribbling mechanics in this game. Uh, but that was a great run by him, man. This Sun cards are really cool so far, guys. I could see why a lot of people actually like him. Beauty, man. Oh, Sun. Sun. Sun's nice. Sun is definitely nice. Like, I, I will be the first to admit that. This card. He's cool, bro. Definitely cool. God. I love how I could just do like a first time touch, first time dribble, get that near post or far post angle. Beautiful goal again, man. Bro, did you guys see that little drop back that he does right there in that situation? That was dope, man. Oh, I thought he had that there. I really, really thought he had that there. I, I, this Sun card, guys, he's really good. Like, he's really, really good. I, I love that I don't care about his work rates. I love that. Remember when I reviewed, like, the Team of the Season Sun last year? And, like, I, I couldn't care about the work rates at that point? It's kind of the same with this one right now. Oh, we hit the crossbar there. He's offside as well. Yeah. Beauty. We'll take that. We will take that. Oh, that shot gets was so fast. What's happening? Oh, my God. Hello? Oh, on your weak foot for the finesse, no. The goalkeepers. I saw a ball roll touch right there, boys. Nice little ball roll touch. Uh, Sun is definitely one of the top cards I've used this year so far. I will say that right now, he is 100% one of the top cards I've used this year. Movement is fantastic. Beautiful with both feet. Dribbling on the ball is great. Oh, yeah. Oh, his movement. I love that when I get into that area. Hey, first time this year, huh? They get inside the 18 yard box, he actually goes back. Oh, man. That was sick. That was sick. And then again, working with the weak foot in that situation. Beautiful strike. Oh, I timed that, like, our trigger touch too with him so well. Nah, son is crazy. Sun is crazy, especially if you're calm enough to deal with the goalkeeper on the shot cancel, just to get that opening. Beautiful, man. That was gorgeous. Oh, yeah. That one I actually had to go for like a 1-2 play there, because I saw the opening. I was like, if I make this pass here, I need him to be immediately explosive. Beautiful. That was a bad back pass. And Son, man, you know, he's ready for it, bro. He's ready for it. Oh, 
So man, shot cancel is, if you want consistency, it's just a good way to get past that goalkeeper, man. Oh wow, that was so weird. Like the defender was there, but I still got it. I don't know. That was awkward. Oh yeah, see, I, like like I told you guys in the review, man, the finesse shots inside the 18, they gotta they gotta do something to it for sure, because it's uh it's def they're definitely not great. Ah, oh. <laughs> sorry, I just, I, dude, I'm liking the way he's dribbling, man. I really am. The shot cancels come off great. All of that's just nice, dude. Ah, oh. I really wanted to try the uh, near post angle there with this five star weak foot. I was like, you know what? I want to shoot this across goal, but. Let's just give this a shot here. To make this move count. And it might be. And no, I had to do a shot cancel again to get the the small angle there. No. I'm not sure why the fans are so upset. I think the referee got that absolutely right. That was a driven shot, by the way, is with Sun. 90 degree angle for uh, 90 degree angles with uh with Sun right there on a driven. Not bad. My boy Adam is the one that's telling me about those drivens. I certainly can't wait for this one, Stuart. Might be able to set up the chance. Well, nothing productive, really. Son. And Son. It must go yeah, just gotta be calm. Gotta be calm, man. Just to create some consistency. Like I said, boys, just to create that consistency. Nice, we'll take that. We will take that. That's why that's why it's kind of nice to work with the uh, formations like the 4-4-2 and stuff because you have that width that you can make that extra pass with and then you can just score a potential opportunity like that. My heel to heel worked out. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, uh, the Sun card is definitely one of my favorite strikers in this game. Uh, the way that he moves across the pitch is so good. But not only that, but if you were to use this card in a left mid, right mid position, side positions in a 4-2-3-1, you're looking at a very solid card, just in general, man. But he would be wasted on the sides because of how well he plays in the striker area, especially with that 5-star weak foot. But if you have like a lot of meta players in your team, He's just going to be a go-to to get, bro. I, I think he's genuinely really, really good in this game. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the new Hyung Min Sun card. So, uh, this card from a rare gold card is already a monster, guys. 100%. Uh, there's definitely no right or wrong uh, chemistry style to give him, especially with the way that the dribbling mechanics work this year. You could definitely either give him an engine or a hunter chemistry style because a hunter chemistry style is what I was using on him. And honestly, I felt like his dribbling was still coming off really, really well. Quick off of the skill moves when it comes to the first time dribble. Shooting came off really, really well, especially with that five star weak foot. The hunter chemistry style could definitely be an ideal chemistry style to give him if you want a little bit of more consistent uh, goal scoring. But obviously, if you aim to have uh, a player that is more responsive on the pitch, uh, giving him that agility, balance, and dribbling boost could definitely be the go-to. So like I said, definitely no right or wrong answer for that. Uh, Sun is definitely the type of card, guys, that you can use in any of the attacking positions. It genuinely doesn't matter. Um, I feel like because he has that five-star weak foot, it is absolutely a massive variable in, in regards to what makes him an absolute monster. But obviously, there's other things too, right? So the high, high work rates doesn't affect the card in a negative way, at least for this year's game and the way that it kind of moves across the pitch. Um, the way that they come back or push forward in the attack and defense is definitely fantastic, especially in his case with the 88 stamina. It's really, really good to work with. As you guys notice, I'm not trying to do finesse shots too much outside the 18 because...
it's pretty obvious that he's going to be good at them because they're generally overpowered, right? So I was trying to focus on, you know, getting some shot cancels, getting some dribbles off, getting some power strikes off to see how those come off. And he was doing a fantastic job, right? And that's taking into consideration a future, uh, you know, buff, nerf, whatever it is to the finishing mechanics in this game. So yeah, I think EA did a really good job with Sun's card. I enjoyed him a lot. If you guys end up purchasing him for whatever price it is that you're going to be purchasing him, like if it's 300k right now, I'll tell you guys this much right now. It makes sense because I think he's one of the top three or four players that I've checked out so far in this game. He is absolutely incredible and i could definitely see him being like a top tier meta card for a good majority of this game to be honest with you man his card is really really good in my opinion so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys